talk about meditation and communication. So we're here at one of the most famous yeah. cafes here in the Philippines. It's our favorite. Yeah. And we're gonna show you guys on how we're gonna say um, how communication works in an organization. <laughs> so sorry, friend. I'm with the back. <laughs> yes. Now let's go. Let's Come get started. Garbosa. Uh, I've been a part of this company for 13 years now and I'm here to talk about uh, briefly on how to effectively communicate within uh, my organization for this particular store. Um, I think communication is really the best uh, powerful tool in order to um, maximize the, the talent and skills of my uh, co-workers and at the same time bringing out the best in them on um, and really helping them on their uh, personal growth and career. Um, as a store manager, uh, it is my responsibility and accountability to um, with their individual performances. Um, what I do in the store is uh, I do a formal sit down. This is a monthly sit down wherein I do documentations. Uh, to really send a strong message to them how important this um, conversa conversation of ours uh, that we're going to have. Uh, for this particular discussion, I, I talk about uh, their individual strengths. Uh, this is a time wherein uh, I talk about uh, all the things that they're doing well. I also want to um, probably give them a, a motivation and spice up their, the spice of the conversation by just uh, tapping the back or simply giving them a good job word uh, of the things they're doing uh, on a monthly basis um, uh, in, Also in here we talk about their opportunities uh, These are the things that um, uh, I talk about what are the things that really needed for a particular project uh, for, for them to improve uh, We talk about some of the things that um, if a partner is struggling or, or, or a co-worker is struggling with their job, uh, we talk about um, action planning, we talk about um, further development in terms of how can I help him or her uh, excel in his job. Um, okay, I, I think um, the most challenging part on the communication process is really correcting a behavior of a certain um, uh, employee or a co-worker of mine uh, when I say challenging but at the same time it is also rewarding because sometimes it's always a make or break for for, for the receiving end I mean um, correcting a behavior is not uh, is not easy it sometimes involves emotional um, there's an emotional attachment to it but um, if the partner or if my co-worker understands if I can make him or her understands the value of how um, of why I am correcting him or her, I think that's the most rewarding part because it sometimes it, it can unleash the potential of a certain partner or a certain coworker um, by just doing uh, uh, I call this a fierce conversation with them. I also want to talk about informal communication. Uh, in, in, in our store, we have our 15-minute break. Uh, this is the time where, where a partner or a worker can, uh, can avail of his or her uh, employee beverage or, or a food perhaps. Um, informal communication, I, I sometimes do that. I, I, I go with them with, during breaks and uh, we talk about everything under the sun. I mean, this is the, the best time you can really extract the the real juice of a partner's concern or a co-worker's concern. So I think um, informal communication it really involves um, a serious um, 
not, in, not serious, but uh, it also involves a relationship between uh, between a manager and uh, perhaps a barista uh, on a level like this, on an organization like this. So, uh, like I said, it's it's really rewarding, uh, uh, challenging it may be, but uh, a rewarding job for 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 all of us here in our stores. I think that's it. Thank you.